Well, as taxpayers, we pay a lot to keep our roads, bridges, and tunnels in good shape. And I had noticed over the past several months that the big dig tunnels downtown were really filthy, and that made them very dark. Well, it turns out I wasn't the only one who had noticed. In tonight's Question Everything, Jane asked, why isn't anything being done about the dark and dirty tunnels? Well, a strange thing happened when I tried to get an answer. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Jane Castiglione is a sweet, soft-spoken woman who had been stewing for quite a while. So what made you write to us? So I didn't know who to complain to. So you complained to us? I complained to you, because <laughs> I didn't know who else to go to. <laughs> Jane travels from Quincy through Boston a lot, and with tunnel vision, she sees a problem. Well, I wrote to you because I travel the O'Neill Tunnel for the past 10 years, at least four days a week, and I've noticed it's gotten dirtier and dirtier, and it's got darker and darker in there. If you use the tunnels downtown, you've probably noticed the tiled walls often caked in dirt. We took this video in the O'Neill Tunnel, stretches of grimy gray near Government Center. And this is what welcomes visitors coming into Boston from Logan. The walls of the Ted Williams dingy enough to darken the whole tunnel. Of course, they're not brand spanking new. The O'Neill Tunnel, a crown jewel of the bloated big dig, just turned 20. Back then, there were celebrations and excited drivers. And you could see the brights at the end of the tunnel. But that was many rush hours ago. Paint me a picture of what those walls look like. Uh, dark, 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 dark gray. <laughs> dark, 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 dark gray. <laughs> All right, so it doesn't look great. But does it really matter if the walls are dirty? Well, one thing you notice if you look really closely is that in the areas where the walls are clean, the lights really reflect well, and that makes it a lot easier to see. Jane didn't believe that MassDOT ever cleans the walls. I don't think so. When, she wondered. If they've cleaned it, they've only made it go from dark, dark, dark gray to dark gray. So last Monday, I emailed MassDOT. I explained the story, and I asked for an interview, requested to tag along with the cleaning crew, and said I'd be shooting on Wednesday. On Tuesday, I was told no interview, and the tunnel washing was, quote, specifically scheduled around an ongoing lighting project. There were some pictures attached of the machines they use, but no indication a crew was going out. Next day, Wednesday morning, our shooting day, and we noticed the walls suddenly looked pretty good. Terry, our videographer, thought something was off. Had the cleaners come through? I think you can see where they cleaned it. And a short time later, we got an email with a seven-second video clip. The cleaning trucks had gone out overnight, hours before our shoot. I was assured it was a coincidence. Well, anyway, back to Jane, who was surprised that these trucks even existed. So there it is. Whoa. Big brush. It's a big brush, boy. Is there water spurting out of that? Too? Big brush. So the tunnels are clean. Err, for now. And if they stay that way, Jane says a cleaner tunnel is a safer tunnel. And I think if you had bright walls and people had their lights on, you wouldn't have as many accidents because they could see where they're going. So because of the timing and the video clip of last Tuesday's cleaning, it all seemed a little odd. I asked MassDOT when the last time the tunnel had been cleaned before I told them we were doing a story. And they told me a couple of times they would get back to me with a date. It's now been a week. I never got an answer. And lastly, MassDOT did say that cleaning the walls is very, very important because between the lights and the bright tile, it really helps drivers. So we can expect with this project underway that the, the, those walls will be cleaned on a regular basis. Gonna we're going to notice it. They're going to be spick and span clean. <laughs> they are, for sure.